Hello and welcome to the first ever Let's Bring Changed Mind Student Summit. Give yourself a round of applause. It's going to be a great day to meet new people. Um, before we get started, I just want to give you a quick overview of the day. First up, we have a couple of really amazing speakers. It's really an honor for me to be here. I actually started speaking when I was 17. I had some really difficult experiences after I was hospitalized for attempting to take my own life, and I chose at 17 to start speaking out about it. And so when I see all of you here today, it's just a powerful reminder of how far we've come, how special and how powerful all of you are in changing this conversation and in giving a voice to this movement. All of you are here on a Sunday today because you know how difficult mental health issues are. You know that you can turn on the news at any single day and see all of these examples of what we need to do as a society to change this. So my question to you is, what are you gonna do about it? It's too late for my generation. I hope my generation can help evaluate what your energy and power and empathy can do. For a majority of people, when they hear the words mental health, they immediately think of having a problem. But mental health is not having a problem. Mental health is how all of you address all of the challenges in your lives. We teach physical health from kindergarten through the rest of your life. When we teach mental health, it's go talk to a counselor. And that's not good enough. You need tools. You need skills. You need the ability to work on these issues, much like you do your physical health. Humans have been using music to express emotions for thousands of years. We've been using words to express emotions in a clinical setting for about a hundred. If you suck at talking about how you feel, use music. Most of you have your go-to song when you're happy, when you want to chill, when you're really mad, when you're sad and you want to listen to Adele, use music. We need to normalize mental health instead of isolating mental illness and all the other spectrums out there isolate mental illness because they say you're either sane or you have schizophrenia. Well, I have bipolar disorder and I'm okay. I can't be in two places on your spectrum. That's why I created this one. This one is for mental health. And this applies to all of you. All of you in this room have the power to change mental health. All of you in this room have the power to talk about what you've been through and to help other people. Today, I shared with you my personal story. I hope that at some point when it really matters, you will share yours. The biggest thing I've learned today has to do with just knowing people's stories and knowing where they come from and how they've handled it. It just made me really want to help other people because I know what it's like to go through. It's really hard and it's like sometimes you just feel really alone and like I just want to help people to get out of that place. <laughs> 